If you yourself don't like it, then you can't expect anyone else to like it. The fact that you saw the world affected on your decision, but it wasn't your fault, wasn't your intentions to be. Hey guys, what's up? It's Summer, and welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today's video, we're gonna be talking about transitioning hair. So. The very last time I had any form of chemicals in my hair was probably almost a year ago. It's really sad, like, I think that at one point in time I was, like, completely natural. Then I put chemicals on my hair. Then I was, like, growing out natural. Then I did it again. So I've really done this to myself, like, three times, but I was kind of way younger back then, so I guess that gives it an excuse um i think so however this time i'm not going back I'm not going back honestly the whole thing in itself is really like this is no offense to girls that aren't natural like i'm not trying to be honestly so an unpopular opinion on natural girls and people were like saying how natural girls think they're better than like girls that don't that aren't natural or whatnot for myself i think it is extremely, extremely damaging, and not only that, but super painful process to have to go through um, just to break and destroy your curl pattern. This video I recently took, and you guys can see it's screaming out, I am transitioning. Um, so it's basically what my hair looks like and my curl pattern in itself. I am... Don't call me down, big chop, because your girl ain't ready for it. Um, I eventually do want to do it, but I'm probably going to do it when it grows out more because I definitely don't feel like I want to do it now. I'm too scared. I know. I'm... Isn't it a shame? Uh, however, it is very, 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 very frustrating having transitioning hair. You'll figure out how to do your natural hair, but then you can't make your like chemically damaged process hair um, go out with you. You know what I'm saying? Like you can't, you have to learn how to match two different forms of hair on one head and for me that's extremely frustrating because I have really thick hair as most of us do um and I, I used to love the straight parts of my hair but now I'm like in love with the kinky not normal parts of my hair and it's become very very manageable for myself to do my own hair because I'm experimenting with it I feel like I spent so many time like in braids and in everything else that I, not only did my hair not breathe, but I never got to actually experiment. Like I would like do a couple of things on my hair, it would fell and I would get braids and I wouldn't do anything else to it. Although getting braids obviously is an amazing method to get out of the transitioning process and have your hair to grow. I also feel like it's a huge con because you're never going to learn how your hair in itself works even if you do go to a stylist, you're not going to be able to tell them, oh, well, my hair normally does this or my hair normally does that because you don't know your hair. You've, like, hid your hair your entire life, so you don't really, like, know. Now, I'm not trying to, like, say anything bad for people that wear weaves because, you know, like, you grow embracing that. But I'm just saying, you, I don't feel like you are able to learn what's actually good for your own hair. And a stylist is going to take a while for them to actually know your hair. Just because hair looks the same doesn't mean that it is the same. Like, some people might have low porosity hair and it might look exactly like yours, but you have high porosity. So it's not going to go exactly the same. So, but yeah, I wrote a couple of things down to kind of like tell you guys to be able to like help out with if you are transitioning or if you're thinking about transitioning. Hopefully some of these tips will help you guys out. Um, so these are just some things that I've slowly been learning uh, while I've been trans while I have been transitioning in my own hair. The first thing that I'm going to say is do not, do not, do not, and I absolutely mean not, become so obsessive with natural hair products. I feel as if having natural hair or transitioning natural to natural hair doesn't have to be expensive, but a lot of the times, especially if you're on YouTube and stuff, you'll see something work for someone else and you'll be like, oh my gosh, I have to go buy it. Before you know it, you've bought so many products that don't even work for your hair. I bought so many products that don't work for me. I bought like the main choice, every, so much stuff that I honestly is just like sitting in my dining room as wasted money because I thought you had to buy all these products to be natural and you don't detangle your hair with conditioner. 
before you try actual detangler. Even if you go buy some like 99 cent, a dollar 18 cent conditioner will completely detangle your hair way more than spending so much money on detanglers because detanglers in themselves cost so much money. Conditioner is going to be your best friend. Like deep conditioner, leave-in conditioner is gonna be your best friend, especially when it comes to detangling. Be gentle with your hair and take as much time as needed. I say this with transitioning especially because I feel like the frustration is worse when you're transitioning than you being someone that's never had to go through the process of straight hair versus your natural hair. Um, you're so used to things a certain way when that happens. It's also super, super important to keep your scalp clean. Now, if you tell me that you wash your hair every day are you even black? No, I'm just kidding. Uh, no, but if you tell me that you wash your hair like once a week, I can definitely understand when first starting off because that's what I first started doing when I first started off. But if you tell me that you wash your hair like nearly three times a week or something like that, I'm going to be very concerned. Unless you have some form of like a different hair, I'm going to be very, very concerned as to why you're trying to dry out your hair. I just want to say also, I wouldn't base your hair texture or your hair growth or your hair length on someone else's hair. Moisturize, 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 moisturize. Also, trim your hair because I feel like when you're transitioning, even if you don't want a big chop, that we forget that like split ends can still ruin your actual natural hair if you let it get that bad. So definitely trim, trim, trim your hair. I personally, myself, don't use heat. I feel as if it is extremely painful to use heat when you're transitioning because it's just, you know, I feel like I'm destroying what's coming out and I feel like I am letting the ends that are straight win. So I myself don't try to use that much heat. I try to like do air, air drying styles. i um, not saying heat is like horrific. I use heat when I am deep conditioning, but just saying consistent with wash days be consistent be consistent be consistent important to embrace it because there are so many people and so many different ethnicities and you very well might find people that have your hair type however it is the hair that you were born with um learn how to do it find someone to learn how to do it and embrace it honestly if you yourself don't like it then you can't expect anyone else to like it 